Yo guys, um, this is part two of the travel vlog. I think this one's gonna be way shorter than the first one. But yeah, I just wanted to explain some of the visuals that I'm gonna be taking. Uh, so yeah, this is Club Mykonos, right outside Club Mykonos. We decided to take a picture and then we headed to a restaurant right down by the harbor. If you go inside Club Mykonos, you just continue straight, you're gonna reach the harbor. There are boats there and stuff. And it's a very nice scene, you know, uh, there's a beach there too, so. If you want to swim you can swim there yeah uh this was very disappointing uh, the service here was very poor uh, we thought because there are so few people but um due to the coronavirus thing we thought the service would be fast but i think we waited 30 to 45 minutes for the food i don't even remember what i ordered i think i ordered a, a schnitzel or something i don't know i even forgot that but like it was nice though I know that my brother bought the cream soda, I bought a fat orange, and I think my dad bought the passion fruit. I'm not entirely sure, like, this was a very bad experience, you know, so, quite forgettable, bruh, like, hey, don't go to this restaurant, I don't know, because, maybe it's because we were very few, maybe it's, if it's fuller, they were gonna do better, but nah, bruh, like, it was, it was quite poor, I don't know. And then we headed to Kiro Langoban. I attended school here uh, in 2010 and 2011, um, grade 8 and 9. Very important years in terms of my confidence. I lacked confidence when I left primary school. So this place played a very vital role in you know my confidence and who I became at the time and who I am now. The building on your close left here by the, by, by the corner, it wasn't there when we were still there, like it's a new building. Uh, there's no hostel. Well, there is a hostel now, but there was no hostel at the time we were schooling there. So they did very well to build those facilities for the kids that are attending the school. Um, there's also a cafeteria area, you know, so big ups to them. Uh, yeah, it was a very nice experience to come to the school. And then this is the second place that we lived at. Um, yeah, we started here because the road took us here. We know we took a long turn and then yeah, we came here. And I, I didn't want to change, you know, the sequence of the videos. So yeah, we played cricket here we, with the neighbors. It was really fun. I think this was the best part of where we lived at. And the first ever place we lived was at Dial Rock. We headed there right now. Um, I really enjoyed this place. Um, I think the open space and being away from the world at the time is what I needed. Um, I, at the time, I think at the beginning of school, of the year actually, it was very difficult for me to get a school, to be honest, but eventually I did. And yeah, um, I was isolated in the house for a couple of months and then we went outside and started playing sport, started making friends with the neighbors, you know, it was very nice. You know, it was a very nice experience for me. I needed that a long time. And then, at the time, this sea place, or this beach, or whatever you can call it, uh, we were not able to swim there at the time. Apparently the water was too dangerous, but the sign is not up anymore. So maybe people swim there, I don't know. But yeah, though, that water is very salty. But yeah, water is salty already, but yeah, that water at the time was very salty. So I don't know, maybe it's because of the pH levels or something. I don't know. But very nice scenery, especially if you want to go on vacation, you know, spend time with family. It's a, this is a very nice place to go to. And these places are not even that expensive to, to rent, you know, accommodate yourself. I would do this for, with my family one day because I know how relaxing this place is. There's also um, people that sell skateboards here, yeah, skateboard shop. You know, I took a picture of the place where we lived at for a year i think so yeah and then we headed to the other place that we lived at um but we struggled to find the place for some reason um i don't know maybe it's because they developed the house more but we drove around for quite some time it was in friedenburg if you go to saldana there will be a friedenburg sign there we lived in friedenburg but i think we found it there were two houses that i thought um would looked familiar of where we lived at so yeah i might have taken a snap 
So that's why we're driving so slow now, is because we struggle to find the house. But I think I kind of nailed. So yeah. But I think we eventually found the house. I think the one that is staring you right now. This one gave me a bigger memory, but I don't think this fence was up at the time we were living there. So yeah, I think this is the house. So yeah, that was it for our mini vacation. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the travel vlog. I know that it was quite cringe to watch, but I did the best that I could at the time. Please comment, like, subscribe to the channel, and continue to support me. If you haven't, left a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the video, tell me if you disliked it or it didn't absolutely make sense. Um, yeah, catch you guys on the next travel vlog.